Well, trusting behavior is uh, something that, well, it's never a question of all or nothing. Uh, we have to, in an environment where there hasn't been much trust, I think, first of all, trust needs to be introduced. And it needs to be introduced carefully, and step by step. Uh, you, you can't just throw open the safe and throw open all the books and, and uh, hope for the best. But you need to train people in trustworthiness. Uh, I believe that it can be done. I think companies have been turned around by a new executive team coming in and an attitude that's been very distrustful in the past where information has been really hard to get for anybody working in the company. Uh, if gradually it's introduced and step by step they are led to a different way of doing business now, it may be that not all the employees can adjust to that, in which case you need to probably help some people find different employment. You need to, to grow uh, a, a family of like-minded people in the organization. And, and then as you go, you can trust more and more fully, like any relationship, or like our personal relationships. We, we hope for the best with people, and we give them as much trust as the current evidence allows, and we try to move to a higher ground where we can accord more and more trust to, to folks. I think in the, in the business world, if we get out of some of our polarized thinking, uh, you know, if, if we we either have to be totally surveillance and, 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 and compliance monitoring oriented, or else we've got to throw open the floodgates, throw open the doors, and, and, and be gullible. We have to move in the direction of total trustworthiness, but it is a process.